I am Vinod Zuchi. I am Secretary of Tourism in the Ministry of Tourism, Government of India. I am from Incredible India. Great to meet you and welcome to World Travel Market. How are you finding the show so far this year? Well, it's very nice. It's uh, better than the previous years, I must say. And uh, uh, Incredible India, we are representing ourselves. I think uh, it's been the best this year. We have uh, 40 stakeholders from the private sector as well as our state governments uh, 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 from India. We are participating in a bigger manner. We have more uh, state governments uh, in participation as compared to what we had earlier and uh, incidentally there are uh, as many as half a dozen uh, tourism ministers from various states who have come uh, to, to, to represent the states and uh, we've had a good press conference and it was a very well responded one I must say. Uh, there is a general more buzz around the tourism is in uh, on an upbeat uh, an upswing uh, trend in India so we are very excited about it and my other colleagues who have come from the travel trade, they are also very excited and we have lots of additional things uh, to offer and initiatives that we have taken, the government has taken over the past one year. That is attracting a lot of people, particularly I can say a couple of them, uh, the e-tourist e visa initiative which has been taken by our government uh, has been a game changer I would say. In the sense that uh, gone are the days when people had to wait for a visa or had to struggle around and waste too many days. Now it's just a click on the computer and you get the e-visa on your inbox. So it's making India a lot more accessible then to tourists and visitors. Yes, absolutely right. In fact, this is a strategy for being more accessible because that is the first step towards tourism, access and connectivity. So I was talking about this e-tourist visa. We have launched it in 113 countries, mind you, 113, sizable. And we are going to expand it further to 150 countries uh, in the next couple of months. Now that would mean that very few countries would be left which are important from tourists' point of view uh, where we would not have the e-visa regime. Now not only that, we are further rationalizing and uh, making it more uh, tourism friendly this is that uh, you know like from from single entry we are trying to make it multiple entry similarly instead of uh, applying 30 days before we are trying to make it 180 days before so all these things are further they are going to use then the other thing is about the connectivity we are going to have a new civil aviation policy the draft of which has been released that could mean greater connectivity more, I would say, unlocking the, the skies and uh, making more capacity, air capacity, the seat capacity. Now, in order to reach India, you need more capacity. And so, this policy has been addressed to, to, to see that these things, you know, the connectivity and the aviation aspects are also addressed properly. And looking to the long term, where do you see tourism in India in, say, 10 years' time? Well, we are growing at a very fast uh, rate. 10.2 percent growth has been registered in 2014 over 2013. Now, which means we are almost double the growth rate of the world tourists arrivals, which is around 4.7 to 5 percent, the average growth rate. We have grown by 10 percent. Even the last four years, if you see from 2010 to 2014, our average growth has been 7 percent, two and a half percent more than what the world is growing. We are very excited about it and there is a reason for that because we have the kind of plethora of destinations. I mean, we are incredible because we have such a vast range of destinations that people, they are not able to decide where to go and where not to go. It's difficult to discover completely in one go and you need a full time to, a full lifetime to, 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 to see India. Maybe they say you can't see India even in your lifetime which is so true, I being an Indian. But we will offer to a particular country, to the tourists, what they want to have, customization. Now take for instance, put this circuit. Now that is something which we are developing. Beach tourism, rather I would say coastal tourism. Now coastal tourism means depending upon the seas, the high seas. For the beaches, for the lighthouses that we have, the treasure of lighthouses all around, and the cruise tourism. Now this is one area which we are going to 
you know, develop. Then the spiritual tourism, yoga, wellness, medical. This is another strong area where we are going to see ourselves in near future. We will very shortly be the leaders in medical and health tourism and wellness tourism. So these are some of the golf tourism. We have the best signature golf courses in the country. So we want to develop and pose before the, before the world here. Yeah. Fantastic. So certainly lots of potential there and room for growth. Um, thank you so much for your time today and we wish you a good show and every continued success. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.